but it is what it is. I am not moving that shelf anymore because that would be a bad idea. But I think if I take down the snow racer temporarily and just like set it with the toys, I think I can like shimmy the drywall out. So wish me luck. Why? Everything's moved. There is a work surface again, i.e. the floor. But there's a floor again, again, again. How many times? I don't know. Um, I'm tired, so I need to go refill my water bottle and sit for a little bit. And then I also need to measure um, the dimensions of the drywall I need to cut. And once that's done, then I will come cut the drywall and screw in the drywall and possibly tape the drywall, but I know we don't have any drywall compounds, so I can't do that part. And then I think that's it for today. I think that's all I got in me. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if I wanna build the bench today because that involves like chop saw and stuff. That's a lot. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know. But yeah, we need to take a break now. Okay, we've had a break. I have my notepad, my pen. I gotta measure this on the outside, top to bottom, the inside, top to bottom, and then there's just a little strip like the just over the width of a two by four on that side um, to smooth out that wall. And then I think think that should be good. So it's not like a ton of drywall that has to be cut, but there are long pieces and I need to get that done. I'm not going to bother putting anything on the front of the sucker because we're facing it with the white MDF, like how you would trim doors and stuff like that. Um, and then we'll be putting trim around it because I know you can't see from here, but I'll show you later. There's no easy way to take out the top plates from where the closet was framed in. I'll just show you. Up there, like that like L shape, there's no easy way to like take those pieces out and like finish the ceiling so it matches all the way across. Cause we have like the orange peel style ceiling here, but then inside the closet, it was just flat. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, the same way we're gonna face this piece, we're gonna face the top, and then we're gonna trim it in um, on both sides. So like on the outside and the inside, theoretically, though we might just do the MDF on the inside. I don't know, like it doesn't really seem necessary to put a piece of trim, but I think we have enough trim. So we'll just have to see what we have. So other than that, um, I'm gonna measure these pieces and then I'm gonna go to the garage and I'm going to cut these pieces. I have a metal square. I have an X-Acto knife somewhere. Oh, no, there it is, we found it, we're good. Um, because I like cutting drywall. You really only have to cut through the, the paper. I mean, it's thicker paper, but you just have to cut through the paper and then you can just snap it. At least that's what me and my dad used to do. So I'm gonna do that. And then before we can install any of the drywall, I have to like sweep everything out because obviously you want it to be like flat to the floor. And then we've decided instead of replacing four floor tiles over here on the ground, once the drywall's in and the MDF like faceplate thingy 
and the trim, it seems really silly to replace four tiles when only two of them will have like spots like this big, like not, not huge. Um, so we're just going to replace the two that are going to have like big gaps in them and then like just have like a small piece to fit in front of like the thingy and then the same thing on the, that wall over there because I have to replace like this drywall and there's like a little square at the bottom that needs to be done as well so those two pieces will just be little squares so it's going to be like two big tiles and then like two little chunks I guess but I need to replace my battery and then I'm going to measure this stuff. So we're going to say one, two, three. So number one, number two, number three. Your girl can't cut a straight line to save her life. Okay, so I think Otherwise, I'm going to end up trimming and having gaps. It's going to look disgusting. I'll 
I'll do each one like as a set. So we'll tape, rather install than tape, install than tape. And it's done. Out on the outside, so I'm gonna do the inside and then the outside. That's it for today. No more. I'm exhausted. All right. Well, I might have to like trim that off a little bit. Here, I'm thinking I cut it so well. <laughs> I mean, I did, but it's because the inside I didn't cut terribly straight. So it is what it is. Okay, we're on to the last piece. There's just a few screws to take out. I kept telling myself that inside piece doesn't have to be beautiful because it's getting covered with beadboard. Like that piece, like that side, where is it? Right there. It needs to be kind of nice because it's going to be like just straight drywall. Like I think the beadboard's going to end at the seam only because, so really only this seam has to be nice, only because like we're going to use that like top plate as the delineation. But the inside here does not need to be pretty because it's getting covered with beadboard up to here. So I just have to go through after and like trim that piece down with my handy dandy exacto knife. But otherwise now I'm gonna grab the last piece to put on there. <laughs> 